Since this rabid fox attacked and bit her fiance's boot three weeks ago in their own backyard, Jennifer Orr has been waiting for the other shoe to drop. She learned yesterday a second fox in her same neighborhood tested positive for rabies. No, I'm not surprised. We've seen them daily since since we had the attack. Bath police hope these will stay isolated incidents and not spread into a series of 18 attacks like they had five years ago. We are concerned because of, of what happened in 2019, spe specifically with the foxes and being aggressive. Bath police believe both rabid foxes are from the same family living in this wooded area in a neighborhood off Route 1. Jennifer Orr believes there's a reason these foxes come back year after year. There's a food source nearby. My honest opinion, I, I think Big Apple has a serious uh, trash problem. Uh, the seagulls are constantly getting into that trash. Uh, if you walk up and down the road, there are constant food wrappers and, and things like that. So I think, and it attracts the fox. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a perfect place for them to be eating. We reached out to Big Apple about their dumpsters and bath, but haven't heard back. Police here are also concerned about trash attracting animals. Yeah, you know, trash and compost, uh, stuff like that can attract uh, the animals that carry rabies. Bath's animal control officer says the two rabid foxes were young and they have been infected by another family member. A mother fox can spread it to her young relatively easy just from cleaning, licking, stuff like that. Uh, rabies virus is spread through saliva. For now, police want people to avoid approaching foxes and other wild animals, no matter how cute they may look. People don't necessarily think of it as a danger, and I hope that they do. That's my concern. Jennifer Orr's fiance got lucky. The bite didn't puncture his skin, so doctors say he won't need rabies shots. In Bath, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.